Your top five news stories for today. First, today is election day. Two, we have a record 100 million people have already voted. Three, Facebook, Twitter, and news outlets vow to not announce election winners until all votes are tallied. Four, terror attack in Australia kills five people. And number five, White House installs massive fence to discourage protesters. Today's weather outlook has a high of 73 this afternoon and a low of 53 overnight. November 3, 1986. The Iran-Contra affair begins to unfold as a Lebanese magazine breaks the story of secret U.S. arms sales to Tehran. President Ronald Reagan initially denies trading arms to secure the release of American hostages in Lebanon. In spite of the wildly speculative and false stories about arms for hostages and alleged ransom payments, we did not, repeat, did not trade weapons or anything else for hostages, nor will we. Also, part of the money from the arms sales was diverted to the Contras, the American-backed rebels in Nicaragua. Both revelations, which involve violations of official U.S. policy, engulfed the Reagan administration in scandal. 1970. In Chile, Salvador Allende takes office as the first socialist president of that South American country. Allende, who faces U.S. opposition while in power, dies when a military coup overthrows him a few years later. 1992. In Illinois, Carol Mosley Braun becomes the first black woman elected to the U.S. Senate. And 1998, a political body slam in Minnesota. We've shocked the world. Minnesota leads the way. Where former pro wrestler Jesse Ventura wins the governor's race in an upset. Today in history, November 3rd, Carlotta Bradley, The we Associated the Press. In setting the example for the